Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to learn the binary numbering system and also the decimal numbering system and then we will try to learn the conversion process involved in converting a particular decimal number into binary format and also a binary data number into decimal format. Let's get started. So let's look into the decimal numbering system that is most widely used by humans like us. So decimal number starts from 0 and it goes on. We know that we are having 10 possible numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And after this 9, we are having numbers like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 and 29 and it goes on like this we know that and among these numbers among these following numbers you can see we are having similar numbers from 0 to 9 and if it exceeds the 9 it goes to 0 again and it will add a number to the left and it proceeds like that and Again, when it reaches the number 9 or 19, it goes to 0 again, adding a number to the left. It makes it to be 20 and it goes on like this. And among all these following numbers, you can clearly see we are having 10 possibilities for this decimal numbering system. That is from 0 to 9. We are having 10 possibilities for this decimal numbering system. And that is why we call this decimal numbering system or this decimal data as to the base 10 numbers. And if you take the binary numbering system which is most widely used by computers or microprocessors and it has only two possibilities either a bit can be 0 or 1 other than this it cannot be anything. The best example for binary representation is a switch. You can either turn on a switch or you can turn off a switch. It will be having only two states, right? Similar to that, the binary numbering system will be having only two states on, off, 0, 1, high or low. So that is why the binary data is set to be to the base two numbers. And often this binary data is represented as a set of numbers or set of bits. Minimum set of bits that can be represented for binary data is 8 bits starting from 0th bit to 7th bit. And the naming goes like this you can clearly see the bit on the extreme right is said to be the least significant bit that is LSB. And bit on the left that is extreme left is said to be the MSB of the byte that is most significant bit of the byte. And the numbering of binary data goes on like this. It is always starting from 0 to the rightmost bit right over here and it goes like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 etc. It goes on like this. And you can also have 16 bit numbers, 32 bit numbers, 64 bit numbers based on the requirement of the user. That is purely a requirement by the user, but the minimum representation is 8 bits of binary data. Not only a single bit on the right is called as LSB and a single bit on the extreme left is called as MSP. Among these 8 bits of binary data, these 4 bits available in the left starting from bit 4 to 7 are also called as msb of the byte and these four bits starting from 0 to 3 are also called as lsb of the byte and you can similarly have a 16 bit representation for the binary data starting from bit number 0 to bit number 15 if it is a 8 bit binary data it, it will be starting from bit 0 and it goes till bit 7 and if it is a 16 bit binary data it will start from bit number 0 and it will go till bit number 15 
to the left and if it is a 32 bit data it will start from 0 and it will be going till bit number 31 on the left and if it is a 64 bit data it will be starting from 0 and it will go till 63rd bit to the left this is the difference and 8 bits of binary data is also called as a byte of data and 16 bits of binary data is also called as a word of data and similarly you can also have 32 bit 64 bit etc and now let's get into the concept of conversion of data from decimal numbers into binary format now let us see how you can convert a decimal number into its binary format so we know the decimal numbers are nothing but to the base 10 numbers and the binary numbers are nothing but to the base 2 numbers so these decimal numbers are said to be to the base 10 numbers because there are 10 possibilities for each number right starting from 0 to 9 we are having 10 possibilities for each decimal number but in case of binary numbers there are only 1 or 0 there are only 2 possibilities so that is why it is said to be to the base 2 numbers let's take an example for examining and converting a decimal number into its binary format I am just going to take the number 82 in decimal and I am going to convert this number into equivalent binary format so this 82 is a decimal number that is to the base 10 number so I am just going to convert this into to the base 2 number that is binary number so let me just explain you step by step how you can do that the first step is we just want to divide this number by the number 2 because we are just going to convert into binary format just because the binary numbers are to the base 2 numbers just because of there are only two possibilities for a binary number we just want to divide each and every number that we get from this decimal number by 2 for converting this number into binary format so when I perform this division I will be getting the quotient value to be 41 and remainder value to be 0 again when I perform division of this number with uh, the number 2 when I divide the 41 by 2 I will get 20 as the quotient and remainder will be 1 again when I perform the division of this number with 2 I will get 10 as the quotient and the remainder will be 0 again when I perform division of this 10 by 2 I will get 5 as quotient and remainder will be 0 again when I perform the division of 5 with 2 I will get 2 and remainder 1 quotient will be 2 and remainder 1 and again when I perform division of this last number with 2 I will get 1 as quotient and 0 as remainder so that's it you can stop right over here so now what I want to do is I just want to pick all these numbers in this manner that is in this order So the equivalent binary number format for the number 81 is 1010010. 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is the equivalent binary number for the number 82 in decimal. That is 1010010. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. You can see 1010010. 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. You just want to take the number in this order. Starting from bottom, you just want to go like this, and you can write this number right over here 101001. Zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero. So, this is the conversion of the number that is the decimal number 82 
into binary format so in this manner you can convert any decimal number into its own binary format since as we discussed we just want to represent a binary number into either 8 bit 16 bit 32 bit or 64 bits format you can clearly see here i am having only 7 bits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so i am just adding a 0 right over here for representing this number in 8 bits format that is a byte format that is a byte format so this is how you can convert any decimal number or a number with to the base 10 into its equivalent binary format that is that is to the number to the base 2 number and now let's try to understand how you can convert binary numbers into equivalent decimal format now let's take the same example of this binary number that we got for the number that is decimal number 82 for converting this binary number into decimal format let's examine how we can do that that is the number 1010010 is representation of binary format of the number 82 right over here right so we are just going to take this binary number and we are going to uh, arrive this number that is decimal number 82 that is we are just going to learn the binary to decimal conversion so the number is one zero one zero zero one zero so this is the binary number that we have we are just going to convert this number into decimal format that is to the base 10 format so let me just take and split out this number and write down right over here so we know that these are 7 bits of number let me just write one more bit that is 8 bits so that i will make it as a byte of data now for converting this we just want to start with the lsp of this number so rightmost bit in this binary data is nothing but lsb that is least significant bit of the byte of data and leftmost bit available right over here is nothing but the msb of the data that is most significant bit of the data so for converting this number or binary format number into decimal format first take down the lsp bit available right over here and i just want to multiply this bit whatever the bit may be 0 or 1 we just want to multiply it with 2 to the power 0 so 0 into 2 to the power 0 is 0 2 to the power 0 is 1 but 0 multiplied by anything is 0 and nextly take the next bit available right over here and you want to multiply this bit with 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 1 is 2 2 into 1 is 2 and next i am just going to take the next bit available right over here and i am going to multiply this with 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 2 is 4 but 0 multiplied by anything is 0 i am taking the next bit 0 into 2 to the power 3 so 2 to the power 3 is 8 but 0 into anything is 0 I am taking the next bit 1 into 2 to the power 4 this time so 2 to the power 4 is 16 and 1 into 16 is 16 I am taking the next number right over here 0 into 2 to the power 5 2 to the power 5 is 32 32 into 0 is 0 and I am taking the next number 
sorry 1 into 2 to the power 6 2 to the power 6 is nothing but 64 and 64 into 1 is 64 and you can neglect this number because it is 0 anyhow it is going to be 0 only and you can clearly see when you add all these numbers you will get the result of the decimal format of the binary number that is 2 plus 16 is 18 18 plus 64 is 82 in decimal so this is how you can convert a binary format number into decimal format that is the number to the base 2 number can be converted into number to the base 10 number using this each bit multiplication process i hope you learned how to convert a binary data into equivalent decimal data and decimal data into equivalent binary data in this video see you in the next video thanks for watching